Father, I'm so long for both fans, right? I see the match. I see the okay with the result. Just that some people go feel and say, why, why they know me? Why they know me? You know Chelsea fans, I want win all the matches. Uh, we've seen players that perform today that we know Chelsea, Chelsea won't have anything to do with. <laughs> Moving on. Moving forward. Number one player I don't want to see is Bakayoko. <laughs> when he started bringing some Team C and some Team B players that I think he was trying to market them you know when those ones came in it became disorganized for Chelsea. ZH is a big name player yeah. and he's doing well even last season he did well it's just that I think he had one or two injuries in between he dampened his form and all that. I think ZH is ready to play the way he, he played in Ajax before Chelsea bought him. It looks like Romelu Lukaku is coming back. Good move for Chelsea. If they bring somebody who know the league, he scored 17 goals for West Brom. He scored 85 goals for Everton. He scored 40 something for Manchester United. But I even prefer Lukaku to Haaland. Welcome to Football Fans Tribe. Here we interview Nigeria football fans after matches and giving Nigeria football fan content back to back. So if you're new here, please click the subscribe button. And here come the rest of the interviews after I tell you that this video is sponsored by Wazobet. So Wazobet still have a Football Fans Tribe promo code that you can use to get 250% bonus on your first deposit when registering on www.wazobet.com. We have the code on the screen, the link in the description. Click it, register and enjoy the best odds out there. Here come the rest of the interviews. Very good game, you understand? The man in the check, the players them. But I'm very impressed, you understand? Yeah, you know, say if to say the man maintain the squad for first half for the second half, the result for no tournament like this. But most important thing, now the football where the man wants to see, the performance from every player, which very well, you understand? The players them, everybody try their best. Now precision now, then they try to warm up their self, check one or two. So I'm very impressed with the game. So even as you end 2-2, you are still okay with the result? Yeah, I still okay with the result. Just that some people go feel and say, why, why they know me? Why they know me? You know Chelsea fans, I want win all the matches, <laughs> you get? But if you check him, I'm impressed. The first goal, you know how he's got deflection, yeah. no be keeper for, no be defender for. The, the second one, a mistake from first goal, still go on low. And I still want to. So he go, he go accept him. But we know say if na full squad come out, you know how the game go be, we go take him. But with the two to us in press, we know lose to Tottenham. That is the most important thing. And playing in front of the fans to cheer up the players is still okay. And then how, how good was Kante today? Assist for that first goal, Abi, the second goal, Abi. It be like the guy down there on full pump again. <laughs> only, only this, only this few weeks rest there. Eh, when he rest, he there like say for the past, for the past one year, football never touched him. But he <laughs> just they cover every single. Play. I'm not sure say he gets anything. We can't take it. We, 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 we go surprise anybody. Mm. You understand? Cause the guy, everybody know can't take energy. Yeah. He get that energy too. If he play only and say for four, eight, and ten, only and he go run around everywhere. So the guy, very. Very good, you understand? Very good. So I'm impressed too with him today. And and the edge, two goals today. Is it in between him be complaining last season saying no really get precision instead of season with injury, but is it what Chelsea fans should be expecting now this season from him? Um, I believe Senna now he understand the difference between Ayas and Chelsea. You understand? He been think say that time for Ayas when he just come yeah. from Ayas to Chelsea. If you see everything go there around that. Mm -hmm. Now he don't understand say oh boy. This one now uh, a new level. So now he don't take him as a challenge. Say he don't get any need not to improve. He, he just need to. He be use that precision as an excuse. But that one concern now. Mm. People like Fernandez, they don't play precision. They just come and pick. Mm. So I believe say he just use that one. Many like Chelsea fans no say oh boy, I sing a, a lot to offer. Which in confidence now don't they come? Yeah. You get from that Arsenal game from this game. Okay, see this goal we win score from. Now those now those things when he they use the punish us for Champions League. If you lose some kind boss, and remember their Champions League game against Tottenham, see in, in two at in four in score. So I believe, say, with this preseason, it go boost in confidence to, for the new season and end already for the challenge to play for the best club right now in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just put that me. No one, no one but Ben Mendy. Uncle clean sheet. <laughs> no clean sheet so far with this preseason. Let's go and for Indalu today. What's in the happen? There any reason today worried or not preseason? Tego Siva never did it back. <laughs> Tego Siva never did it back. You understand? I see. We see they touch one or two things. You know, I know, but I'm not sure they get any good way they go fiscal and go first. Because it's not too safe for self. It's not too safe for So, now one of those. Now one of those things. Then they score every goalkeeper as there. I don't say if now, Razabilaga, let's go to everybody for down shot. 
But uh, uh, but I've been mean, feel say the second goal. I've been mean, expect that ball not to enter on that round. But who be on if if you go fi enter every other keeper like Cotswa there for Champions League for Messi. So who be on? But good game from me. Good game now. A very good. And game. then last week we've been talking about Haaland, but it look like saying Lukaku could come. You still they happy with them? Yes, I still they happy because already he they bring somebody we know the league. He scored 17 goals for West Brom. He scored 85 goals for for Everton. He scored 40 something for Manchester United. So nobody go feel educate him about how strong Premier League they. Now the Ireland will be the talk of to go bring. We know they sure single fee come now come do him. Eh, uh, now because of his age. But what if say he been come no fee come do him? And now to come collect salary pass every other player. Okay, wait till Ireland one come give us Champions League. Where we where we we just carry now they bring a player away in love Chelsea in don in don post plenty times say him now Chelsea fan so we they bring somebody go play for us within heart you know they come play say the money day yeah. if he say he get a team and never do finish for this club yeah. so are they very happy with the guy and in strength go give us something there too so I believe say we they bring the right person. At the right time, just that everybody wants Haaland, Haaland, Haaland. But right now, if you say Lukaku is the best Z for Rocco, we're not going to throw 170 million, 150 for for Dortmund then in in agent. No one drop anything to come collect that kind of money. Ha! For Champions League, we already win. If you go Man City, oh, also. Well, I know you were disappointed when that second goal went in. How you see the match in general? Uh, of course, I was disappointed, but um, let's not forget, it's actually a preseason game. It's a friendly game. It's non-competitive, but um, I'm disappointed that we lost the match. So I'm disappointed that we, we, we drew the match. However, there are some positives. There are some players that I saw moving forward as a club. I saw that they have really improved their game. The number one player is ZH, scoring two goals. Comparing this his performance today with what he, with the kind of performance he made last season, you know that he's really improved. And then um, another aspect of the game is that we've seen players that perform today that we know Chelsea, Chelsea won't have anything to do with. <laughs> Moving on. Moving Number one player I don't want to see is Bakayoko. <laughs> you understand? So, but all jokes aside, the, the team they did well. You don't expect them to win every game. Yeah, but um, I think that. The coach has a competitive nature. He's, uh, he wants to win every game, so for him, you will see it as a disappointment. But it's all right. And then still, still on the now. Two go two goals today. Is it time now for him to say, okay, Chelsea fans, this is the player you bought, and I'm and I'm here to justify my transfer. Well. Ziyech is a big name player and he's doing well. Even last season he did well. It's just that I think he had one or two injuries in between. He dampened his form and all that. Um, one thing with this Chelsea club, one thing with this, this the way the coach plays, it doesn't depend on any player. There's no, you cannot point one player and say like that's the player that is going to be giving you man of the match performances every time. Almost every, everybody yes, is important. Everybody is important. Everybody is important. All the, the other players, they need to step up their game. I was particularly disappointed with Pulisic. Let me not say I'm disappointed with him, but I think he can do much better. He's played almost all the preseason games. He's not really stepped up, you know. Um, Havertz is doing well. I'm talking about the attackers now, the wingers and the strikers. Yeah. Abraham, of course. Abraham is Abraham. So <laughs> we just we really need. Uh, I just my call. Some of my friends here told me that um, we we'll signed Lukaku. I don't think that that deal has crossed the line yet. But is, is, but is this something you're happy with? Yes, very much. I'm happy with it. Well, I even prefer Lukaku to Haaland. It's, it sounds it sounds it sounds age, weird, age right? On, age on Haaland's side. No, age is on Haaland's side. But number Haaland, uh, whether you like it or not, is going to be an experiment. Yeah, yeah, try. That Love. amount of money is always going to come with a, a lot of pressure on the player. Premier League is very, very, very tough. You know, so you pressure from yeah. opposition fans too. Exactly. So let's go with Lukaku, who is proven. Yeah. He has the, the Premiership pedigree. Very that is one. That is one. Yeah. Two. He has unfinished business with Chelsea. Him himself. He's already. He's already said it. Yeah. You know. So. And then uh, and, it's, and it's a good time for the prodigal son to come back home. It's a good time, and moreover, Abraham's form has stepped up since he went to Inter Milan. He's learnt a lot under Antonio Conte, so we're really expecting Abraham to call um, Lukaku. Yeah, yeah. He's, I, I prefer him honestly. I think that if we sign him for 100 million, it's not bad. Mm. But, and then Uncle Clean Sheets, like I, I was telling Danny, yeah, now Uncle Clean Sheets, Edward Mendy. 
No clean sheet today. No clean sheet. No, I'm just saying, well, well, he's a clean sheet, Lord. No clean sheet in preseason so far. And Villarreal are coming. Okay, but really, if you watch the game, you really won't blame Mendy like that because um, after some time, the coach made a lot of changes, and those changes now, you know, alter the flow of the game. We saw one of those goals, it was Bakayoko who lost possession. You know, lost possession. Then the second goal that just considered was Malangsa that lost possession. So you, you don't expect players or like Jorginho and Kovacic or Messi Mount to do such things or Rudiger to do such things. So I don't really blame Mendy. Mendy is Mendy. He's a, he, he has proven himself to be a world class goalkeeper. So this performance doesn't really say anything about, um, doesn't say that he had, he had a bad performance. I think he did well. And then, oh, and looking forward to Villarreal now. Are you confident going into that game? Yes, I'm, I'm very, very confident. This 2-2 two -two doesn't really mean anything. Chelsea will be confident. Chelsea will be hungry. They've lost this competition three, three times. times. <laughs> yeah, against uh, Bayern Munich, against Atletico Madrid, and the last one against Liverpool. So, yeah. Chelsea really need to win it. Against Villarreal, Villarreal on paper, they look like a very soft opposition. But we know that they're going to be tough. However, with all our players coming back, I think the only players that have injuries are um, Christensen and um, Thiago Silva. The other players are back. Messi Mount will be coming back, Rich James and Jorginho, the European um, champion, will be coming back. So I'm very sure that um, I'm very sure that we'll win. We'll win that. I'm very sure. We'll be here. Yes. I'm, <laughs> we'll be sure to get that. I'm not even worried about that. Don't worry. I'm telling you. It's fine. The only thing is that if we don't enter that game with a proven number nine, then it can go 50-50. Trust me, if we don't enter that game with Lukaku or whoever, the Haaland or whatever, it's going to be a problem. Yeah, the match, the match was very interesting, especially the first half. Yeah, yeah. Chelsea really played the game. It showed that they are ready to play the um, Super Cup. Super Cup you understand? Yeah, yeah. The um, beginning of the match, the two, two kids started their first team players. Yeah. And they really dominated the match. They played like the first team. They played like Chelsea's first team that are, that are warming up to play a Super Cup match. Yeah. You understand? They yeah. dominated the first half, played a good game. We saw so many um, good chances. We saw a um, person like ZH, who they, who, they, who they didn't do well last season. Yeah. We saw him, apart from the two goals he scored, we saw, he, we saw the kind of the um, 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 attacks he made and all that, his contribution, he really improved his game and all that. Yeah, but the second half, when um, the coach started making changes, that, that's where everything went. When he started bringing some Team C and some Team B players, that I think he was trying to market them. You know, we know so many of them are they're going to either sell them or some of them are going to go on loan. Yeah. yeah so when when those ones came. Came in, we now saw that the the team became organized. Now there were everything's boy. It became disorganized for Chelsea. <laughs> then Tottenham now entered the game well, now dominated. In fact, Chelsea was even lucky to have to have drawn the match. You understand? Because, because he get that goal, wait for don't enter, wait that guy remove. I think it was already going in. Maybe yeah. it would have been a goal. Yeah, that one said would have been a goal. It, the match would have ended. In fact, apart from that one, towards the end of the match, Tottenham really pressed. They held the ball. They pressed and everything. Chelsea was happy to to live with a draw. You understand? Yeah. And then ZH, if you say, you know, show Chelsea fans say, okay, now nah, maybe this now in full flow, two goals today. Is it time for him to step up and say, okay, Mali play first team football for Chelsea steady and make a they deliver? Um, from this um, pre, um, from these two matches, yeah. these two matches, these two preseason matches, the coach has seen that okay, this guy can really step up his game. Yeah if i give him the chance yeah. so it's it's left for 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 2k before before he came to chelsea we all knew how he played in ajax yeah. you understand but when he came to chelsea i don't know if his confidence or whatever he lost form and all that but going forward i think zh is ready to play the way he he played in ajax before chelsea bought him yeah, yeah. and then golo kante how good was kante today <laughs> we talk about that in assist <laughs> You can imagine Kanti giving an assist by just an interception. The interception was the assist that, that brought out the first goal. You understand? What he just did was the normal Kanti this thing where you think he, he won't be able to get the ball and he will just. Ingo just finds one kind way. Just find one kind way. Hey, so he just used that kind way. Just put his leg up 
and it was a pass to ZH that ZH uh, converted. So uh, Kante is the normal Kante that we know him to be. You understand? We, he can't say that you think he's not doing anything, but if you find if at, the, at the end of the game, you find out that he has really worked, and uh, yeah, so can't say, can't say is the normal can't say. And then somebody will come for a second time, probably, we're never too sure, but it looks like Romelu Lukaku is coming back. The transfer on the get head, small, small. Good move for Chelsea, based on price, age, form, everything, the profile of player. Yeah, um, Lukaku has really improved. The Lukaku that we saw this past two seasons in 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 in, in Syria yeah. is not the Lukaku that left Manu. It's not the Lukaku that played yeah. the in Chelsea and Everton. Yeah. Lukaku has really improved. Kante has really improved him. Yeah. And if Tuchel can follow suits the way you understand, everything depends on the play the um, the um, coach. If the player, if the coach can set up his team to play to Lukaku's strength. You understand? Yeah. That way, I'm I'm sure that Lukaku will, will, will Lukaku will is going to be a, 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 a force coming to Chelsea. That, that team they cry for, as in the team they cry for a number nine, like a proper number nine. The same formation where two players they play, now the same formation where Conte they play. You know, basically the same thing. So that formation and that team is crying for a number nine. Yeah, it's crying for number nine and. Lukaku looks like a number nine that he's ready to that that, that you know um, when I, when I really missed a lot as usual it, and then the goal he scored again was offside again. Uh, in fact, I even felt I felt sorry for him when when they ruled that goal out when they wrongly ruled it out for offside. Yeah, that 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 goal would have boosted his morale, it would have boosted his confidence. You understand? But I'm talking about last season. Last season, the number of goals that he he missed. Would have even made Chelsea finish better than top four. Yeah, yeah. I still like Werner. I like Werner because apart from him missing goals, he still does a lot. It, he still does a lot. He's work. As the edge goal. I say no, make that run. The space for no day. Exactly, and 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 those are the kind of things that that Werner, Timo Werner does well. You understand? He he, he has speed. He, he his work rate, the chances he creates for other players and everything. His, his problem is just converting. Just finish that final ball. That's his problem. And I think with person like um, um, Lukaku coming, you understand? He now can he can he, 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 um, he can be the he, he can he can be the Martinez the Martinez yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lotaro that, yeah, yeah, yeah. that that is making um, Lukaku shine in in Inter. You understand? He can he can still have that kind of effect in Chelsea if Lukaku comes. So Lukaku coming is going to be. We hope. We just hope that Tuke will be able to make it work. Yeah, yeah because Lukaku has really improved.